he was he made a wrong turn. He made a wrong turn, and then um, something must have happened when he was turning around. They end up in the water. Um, so he gets down that far and he made a wrong turn because he was taking, um, I forget exactly where he was taking, him, but he made a wrong turn and he was just turning around. I'm Master Corporal Michael Austin, Public Information Officer for the Delaware State Police. I want to say we're here today to talk about a tragic incident. Um, my thoughts and prayers go out to a family whose um, lives were changed forever today, unfortunately. Um, we'll speak about the details here uh, momentarily. Um, this occurred at approximately 9.41 a.m. this morning when we received a 911 call from a subject who advised that he just observed a vehicle go in to the C&D Canal on the south side canal banks. Um, the specific location was determined to be approximately one mile west of the State Route 1 bridge, also known as the William V. Roth Bridge. Again, that south side C&D Canal banks, lower level, west of the State Route 1 bridge. Um, first responders to include police, fire, EMS, immediately responded, and upon the first uh, arriving units, they located a 16-year-old female on the canal banks in the area where the vehicle was reportedly went into the water. Uh, she was able to advise that she was a passenger in the vehicle. Um, she was able to get out of the vehicle and make her way to shore. Um, she also confirmed that the vehicle was still in the water and there were four other passengers um, that were in the vehicle with her at the time that it entered the water. She also confirmed that the 18-year-old driver, a male, initially assisted her to get out of the vehicle and assisted her to get to the shore. Once she was safely on shore, he re-entered the water in an attempt to rescue the remaining three passengers. Uh, soon after first responders were on scene, they did locate that 18-year-old male, and he was pronounced deceased on the scene. Um, he was a hero. He, attended, he tried to do everything he could um, to help the, the remaining passengers in that vehicle. Um, the vehicle was not located immediately. It was a, uh, a multi-agency operation to include police, fire, EMS, um, and associated maritime units and dive teams who had a multi-agency response and operation in an attempt to locate that vehicle and rescue any victims that were still in the vehicle. Um, but that, that soon after the operation um, evolved, it turned into a recovery mission. Just after 3 p.m., the teams were able to locate the vehicle, which was still submerged. As of this time, the vehicle is currently still being trying to be taken out of the water by the teams and there are three passengers in the vehicle who are still unaccounted for they are a 16 year old male a 12 year old male and a 16 year old male who were confirmed to be in the vehicle you said 16 12 and 16 16 12 and 6 so they're all and boys. six and all men they were all male all that male. is correct the lone survivor of the five occupants of the vehicle was a 16-year-old female. And again, the driver was an 18-year-old male. Again, at, at this moment, they are still um, attempting to get the vehicle out of the water. Um, and as of now, those three remaining victims are unaccounted for. We do not know if they are still in the, in the still remained in the vehicle. Where was the 18-year-old? It's outside the vehicle, but... Yes, he, he was located in the water. Um, shortly after first responders arrived on scene. That's correct. Um, there's reports that there was a local fire um, first responder from the Delaware City Fire Department that dove into the water uh, right when he got there and tried to save him. Is that accurate? I can't yeah. confirm um, who exactly entered the water upon the, the initial first responders. I know a Delaware State Police unit was first on scene, followed quick, pretty much followed quickly behind by other uh, by fire service personnel as well. Do I can't you, confirm any of that information. Do you know what happened? We do not right now. Uh, at, that's obviously the big question. It's part of the investigation, um, but we do not have any information as to why or how the vehicle ended up going into, you know, over the canal banks into the water. It's not protected except there are obviously large um, rocks in place that protect the shoreline there. And it's a dirt gravel um, surface there. Um, there is no barrier other than the rocks 
but it is it is a gradual descent down into the water. So we do not have any information as to how they how or why they traveled off of the roadway portion of the canal bank and ended up in the water. Sixteen year old you know wasn't what? able to say much, or just the female. Um, that's going to be part of the investigation. Our investigators from the um, Delaware State Police Collision Reconstruction Unit are the lead investigators on this. It is classified as a motor vehicle crash, obviously um, out of the norm for their investigation, but it is classified as a motor vehicle crash. They are the lead investigators, and an interview of um, the, the female will certainly be part of the ongoing investigation. But what was the road that you think that, the, I'm not too familiar with this area, what was the road that you believe the vehicle was on prior to plunging into the water? Uh, I had no information on that. We not received any information of what their um, travel route was prior to ending up on the canal banks. Okay. And again, that'll be part of, later on down the road, that'll be part of the question that we'll ask for sure. Okay. What was the uh, access to the canal from? Do you know from which road this vehicle went in? We do not know. All we know that they ended up on the lower level on the south side of the canal. Were they related? Uh, there was family. There, there was a family connection between uh, the four male subjects. Um, the female survivor was an acquaintance. Do you know what kind of car they were in? Oh, we, we, don't, we can't confirm that yet. Um, we're still working on that, but it, it was a passenger car. And do you know where they are? They from Odessa? Are they from this area? Do you know at least the one? The, the addresses we had on record were that uh, three of the males in the vehicle uh, were, had Wilmington addresses. One of the males had a Newark address, and the female had a Newcastle address. But I don't have a specific information on what their addresses are. And are you releasing the name of the 18-year-old? That'll be part. It'll it'll come later on. Obviously, we're um, in the process of working with the family notification, next of kin and confirming you know, um, all the victims in the case. So that it's not um, eminent, but we will be releasing that information at the appropriate time.